is a picture of my car and my license plate. Often people stop me to ask, what's the meaning of my license plate? You may have noticed I have slight accent. <laughs> I'm originally from Iran. And in my own native language of Farsi, the plate says, it means, wake up, <laughs> be aware. Why do I have this personalized plate for the past years or so? Past 10 years, actually. First, let me give you a little back story. Once upon a time, people thought the earth was flat until it was proven otherwise. Now, as you could imagine, that was a shocking truth and required a lot of time to spread the word and gain collective acceptance. And while there are still those who believe the earth is flat, we have all generally accepted the notion that the world is not flat. And we now can safely travel to the ends without falling off. <laughs> there was a jump from one way of our perception of reality to another as we raised our consciousness and awareness. I'm here today to speak to a profound shift emerging that is as exhilarating and shocking as the discovery that the Earth is not flat. We are becoming aware that we, human beings, are not flat. Well, what do I mean by that? We are like diamonds with many different facets, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. Yet historically, we have focused primarily only on the physical, our external world. And while we have made great advancements in many fields such as aerospace, science, biology, medicine, and technology, we have confused this development with human evolution. See, even with all this progress, many of us still just wake up, go to work, come home to our family, eat, and then go to sleep. So just the next day we can wake up and do it all over again. We have gotten obsessed and entangled with our advancements, so much so that it has become a routine lifestyle. While we have created exceptional jobs, relationships, many breakthroughs in technology, we have become a slave to them all. The rat race of surviving and making it in a society had become the highlights of our existence. We live with depression, anxiety, obesity, and cancer, suicide, mental disorders, and addictions all are rising and is so normal to us. We got stuck and believe that's the only way of living and is true and is real. We no longer can see the truth that we are multidimensional humans with a soul, with a depth, with a purpose. We have become unconscious. We are now at the point that we are ready for a shift, another jump in our consciousness and awareness. Actually, it's happening for so many of us already. A new view of life is being discovered. A life where we are waking up and becoming aware. What do I mean? Well, let me ask you this. 
How many of you are vegetarian, vegan, or know someone who is? Did you know that the number of people who are turning vegetarian is up 500% from 2014 alone? How many of you do yoga and meditation? One study shows that as of June 2016, there were more than 36 million people in just the USA alone practicing yoga. And Forbes magazine writes about the sheer evolution of spreading yoga and how it has doubled in just the past three years. And how do you take care of your health and stay healthy? Wow, have we seen a shift? We are now accepting all sorts of healing modalities that we never had even existed before, such as energy medicine, sound healing, naturopathic practices, polarity and cranial sacral therapy. We are becoming obsessed knowing more about vibration, frequencies, and metaphysics, and learning how to burn sage to clear our energy field. We are participating in more retreats, more workshops, more seminars to educate ourselves about health and well-being. We are beginning to see the shift is happening. And we are beginning to see there are other ways aside from pharmaceutical approach to heal ourselves. As the East and West are meeting, ancient culture, wisdom, and knowledge is mixed with the Western science and methodology. Healthy eating, yoga, and healing. These are just three ways we are experiencing this shift in our awareness. And there are many, many more. As we, have, as we all have heard the saying, you are what you eat, well, we are also what we think. We are also what we are having in our mind. Now we are waking up to the fact that what we put inside our bodies and mind can have a dramatic impact on how we live our lives. And we are now actually doing something about it. We are starting to realize our potential. And we are moving to become humans 2.0. We are starting to uncover that we, as human beings, are not flat. Are you listening? Are you here with me? We are waking up. We are waking up from our own hypnotic thought process and habitual thinking. We are becoming aware. But this is not always an easy path. Did you know that we have an average of 60,000 thoughts a day? And 98% of them are the same thoughts. What does this tell you? It means that we are constantly in our head and rarely present. We are so focused on that rat race that we are often living a surface life, a flat life. What would happen if we got present, got out of our heads and more into our hearts and feelings. Sadhguru, the great mystic of our time, says, are you here to experience life or think about it? <laughs> when was the last time you were really present? When was the last time you watched the rain drops, not just the rain? Have you watched a flower bloom? Are you getting up in the morning inspired and excited for the day or just reacting out of fear, lack, scarcity, and despair? Do you want to crawl back in bed and hide? 
When was the last time you took a long, deep, cleansing breath, knowing in your heart, all is well? As Carl Jung, the great psychoanalysis says, who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. We are waking up. We are taking responsibility for how our life is going and no longer just victims of our past. We are becoming aware that our inner reality has a direct effect on our outer world. We are becoming aware that we actually have control over both inner and outer reality in our world. That's a pretty awe-inspiring realization. If you really knew you had control over your life, what would you create? What would it take for you to become more aware and present in the moment and fully engaged with life? What would it make available for you if you are constantly present and aware with the people around you? Can you imagine? Can you handle joy and tranquility in your day-to-day -day relationship just by being you, present, authentic? So you can be free, peaceful, and happy as your natural birthright. What does it take to be vulnerable and not guarded all the time? We are so new to this shift of consciousness. We are waking up. We are waking up from a long, deep amnesia, ignorance, and sleep, and looking at ourselves and life from a different point of view. Can you imagine, what could it be possible? Maybe world peace, cure for all diseases, no hunger, no poverty. Can you imagine? It's time to wake up. It's time to bechoda. Thank you.